Hello and welcome to this, our uh, second video featuring our game in play. Having seen turn one in the first video, we're moving on now to the very beginning of turn two. And we're straight on to turn two. Cool. So, blimey, that's quick. It is quick. So, so, do we dish out the mighty D's yeah. again? Right, at the start of the turn, we need to quickly remove the shot markers from right. the units. Fine. Just yep. so we know they haven't shot in this obviously. new turn. And then yeah. we're going to restore the mighty D's to those units, oh, or to go. those heroes rather. Right, and uh, he gets one, and he didn't use any, so that's so good. he didn't use any. Mm. So, uh, we're back to phase two then, which is attacker's movement again. Yeah, absolutely, well. I'm well, guessing there might be some prioritization in the middle going on. Well, there might be, yeah, but first things first, I'll chat. I'm gonna move these over here. Now, I can move in any direction I want. Yeah, I? so I the- I can do that. That's right, light troops in the game, which yeah. is, uh, skirmishes and light riders, yeah. they're allowed to move their movement distance in yeah. any direction yeah. as long as no corner of their base goes further, further. than that. Yeah. So, but yeah, they're very free and easy. So Are you move them again? Try and move them again. They love it. And we've done yeah. it, and they so they just go yeah. straight over there. So obviously they're getting out of the way in order to uh, you've got, create space. you've got your enemies in bow, in, in bow shot Absolutely or slingshot, right. which slingshot. is what you're after. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, so after right. that, uh, these guys are going to move forward once. That's it. And they are going to try and make another move, a second move. They've rolled a two. two. Well, so fortunately, Ale, uh, Amfriff, sorry, has restocked himself. Yeah, so yeah, they love he it. spent a mighty deed, they but go. they go. Yeah. So these guys are pushing on the hill. Yeah. These guys are his half guard, or whatever they're called, commentaries. And, uh, and so they, because they're fresh, they don't need to roll for a second That's it. Yeah. go. So they're drilled, they're up no there. Need to roll. That's it. So Great. they're moving up That's now. That's more like what you're after. Yeah, that is more like what I'm after, yeah. So here. On the slingers, you've got a couple yeah. of options here. You could yeah. run them straight forwards. Yeah. Another option here is you can yeah. drop skirmishes back yeah. through your front line. I'd so be crazy to do that. So I think Ailes put them uh, there to make sure yeah. they soak up some spears on the way I in. I think you're probably right. So, so they roll for a second move, nice and easy, and they're all the way forward. So again, Ailes is going to go forward with his half guard or whatever yeah. the term is, and they don't because they are drilled. They, they don't need to make a roll the for a second move. No. Um, then these guys here are going to move. And they want the second move. We roll and, and they do it successfully. The gods are shining on you in this turn. I think. Oh, absolutely right. <laughs> uh, well deserved as well, I must say. So these guys here going forward. The youths. Yeah, the youth. Musical youth going forward, and they're they're aggressive. So they're gonna they're gonna roll. They rolled a the one. They're not feeling very aggressive. Though. No, but I am gonna spend my yeah, money going for it. it. They want to get into battle they first. Want to get into battle. Oh, no, they don't want to get into battle. Now, you've got an option here mm. because yeah. um, Ale mm. is in this yes, unit. So he's is. There. That's actually within two spear throws of that, that unit. So he could yell, especially yeah. loud. Hurry up. Yeah, exactly. Or well, in Anglo Saxon. Right. In Anglo Saxon. In Anglo -Saxon. And he does it. So yes. we can see yeah. the power of the ale. Yeah. Uh, so these guys are going to move once, <laughs> yep. they're going to roll again to move twice, they <laughs> fail. So Ale is going to shout at them, yeah, burning he's... another way to do it, and they fail. God, Ale's going to play his third one. He's just one. burning them all. He's burning them all, and yeah. they succeed. Yeah. So Ale, using his personal influence on the battlefield, has got them going. Yeah. All we've got to do now is get these guys going at the back. And I'm going to have a bit of a... I'm going to have a bit of a... Um, a no. re if you're moving mm. sideways... Yeah. Your, as a warrior unit, your movement is half. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. So if you go it's sideways, right. you're moving half a spear. Right, yeah, okay. and that's... That, because yeah. it's skirmishers who've got that. That's right, the ability. skirmishers and the light riders have got the ability to zip right. around. So these guys are going forward. Yeah. These guys are going to go forward one, and these guys, Skirm. and again, yeah. they succeed. So there's no issue with, with these chaps. I'll put him there, because yeah. he's, he's within that unit. Okay, I'm not unhappy with that. My no. my battle is really shaping up now, yeah. and I'm I'm getting ready to punch you on the nose. Indeed, and the good news is you can now shoot with both your skirts. I can. Units. I can. But I am not. Let's have a look here. This is what we call what killing zone. All right, and you can see from me using that that it is 
The diamond You're there. Yeah. We are no way in your no, killing zone. Right. So yeah. that shot then will be carried out with yeah. three dice so rather than your normal six. Dice. But looking for and fives. Looking for fives again. Absolutely. I've got no, five in total on three dice. That doesn't work, does it, James? No, it doesn't. I've <laughs> had that many times. No, no sausages, as they say yeah. in uh, Saxony. Yeah. Okay, so I've put a shot marker on. They've yeah. loosed their missiles okay. here. Now, couple of, you've got a choice of targets here. Ah. If an enemy is in your killing zone, yeah. you have to shoot them. Yeah. Pretty obviously. Okay, yeah. And you'd be a fool not to. But yeah. uh, these have actually got a choice of targets. You could shoot mm. Bedouin's unit, yeah. Artos's unit here, mm. or um, a Pedite's unit over here. So the choice is yours. Um, well, I'm going to go for the big man. I'm going to try yeah. and hit Arthur because, frankly... Uh, well, it does, <laughs> it's, it's a moot point. It is. is that I've rolled so It's badly. added up to six. But, but, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Six is better than five, but it ain't eight yeah. five. There's some poor rolls there, but one thing yeah, you find yeah. is missile fire is a... Mm. An, an annoyance. An annoyance. It yeah, is yeah. not a, yeah. a game winner. The game no. is very much loaded up towards yeah. hand to hand melee. Combat. Combat. Yeah, that's Which fine. Is, I didn't what? expect a lot. These are, these are the, the youngsters of my village chucking rocks yeah. and doing pro probably. Uh, and doing a bit of screening, which is probably more important. Yeah, than it, it, we don't have many troops of missiles, yeah. but if we did, yeah. this avo this avoids mm. the risk of ale getting shot yeah, up. Yeah. Okay, you know. great. Right, so down to me then. Now, yeah. I could throw some charges in here if <coughs> I felt very impetuous, but I'm very aware my mandate in this game is to hold on yeah. to the hill. Um, but we were, stuff is shaping up. We're beginning to see mm. what's coming at us over here. So um, I'm going to keep this battle line where it is. I'm good with that. Mm. Um, but I am going to move a unit up here to cover the flank. Because the U-Goof here, yeah. we've got a couple of formed units coming up. We're not going to hold them with a skirmish unit. Mm. So very simply... Now, they're, they're not moving straight, are they? They're, they're moving, not. So, yeah. these literally are going to move sideways. Yeah. So, their first move is free of charge, but as a warrior unit, yeah. they only move half their normal speed. So, they're going yeah. half a spear throw like yeah. that. But then they need to dice, make the command test for the second one. Right. Always on a free up. It's a free. Yeah. They're absolutely fine. So, they can just... They're going to go half forwards, yeah. and they're going to take up position where the salient point is. Yeah. Because so. from turn three onwards... We will score <coughs> reputation points if we're holding on to those. Absolutely. And like we see here, I mean, Bedwear has got mm. a great opportunity here to mm. charge down the hill yeah. at these, but really, we're giving up the advantage of the hill. Yeah. We're giving up the advantage of holding on to the salient point. Yeah. And although mm. the battle there is fairly even, it won't be once Ale brings Hussar up from the rear. So I'm going to leave them there. Okay, with that done, we're going to take a shot. Now, we talked killing zones earlier, we're in killing zone. This is great. So the archers now have the Yugoof right in the killing zone, which is brilliant because... Six dice. Six dice. We have six shooting dice. I'm going to roll all six. Ooh. Good smart. Cool. Well, oh, Nine. yeah. Four. Four hits. Now that... That is, is worth having, isn't it? It is worth having. That That's a... That's, you know, that's against the odds. You know, that's a very lucky roll. Now, this is important because what is my armour factor as a youngster of the village? It's only two. So they that haven't means... got helmets and good shields stuff yet. So, no. in a moment, that unit is going to take two stamina points of damage. Absolutely. Which is unpleasant. Yeah. But, worse than that, Osric has got to roll Risk to Heroes. Now, Ooh. the way the Risk to Heroes works is mm. the more hits you take on the unit, the more dice nice. you knew that was coming. So, <laughs> one to three hits is one roll, yeah. but four to six hits is two rolls. And I, I want to avoid a one on either of Definitely. these Definitely. And I haven't got one, so I... You have, Raven. Uh, sorry, I have got one. I, yes. haven't, I have got one. And he hasn't got any mighty deeds, so There's he nothing he can do. Yeah, now, yeah. level one champions, mm. the lowest level of heroes, they are, they are vulnerable. They're young, yeah. you know, mm. they're young up-and-coming guys. <laughs> well, yes, you could say that, <laughs> in a, you know, with your yeah. 21st century head on. Yeah. Um, they might make bold heroes, but that's mm. not going to happen for Osric. Mm. So actually, this is really vicious for him. So, first thing that happens here, I'm afraid, is that Osric dies. Oh, no. So, <laughs> he only, as a level one yeah. hero, he only has one stamina point. Yeah, so, yeah. literally, he dies. He dies. And we just need to check how many reputation points he wants. Right. So, Osric mm. had two reputation. Oh, I've got good news for you. Oh. 
He's got a trait called favour of the gods. No. This means yeah. he can actually pluck a mighty deed out from behind his ear. Yeah, yeah, right. He was born in a lucky yeah. hour. Right. So he can spend that now. This is only once per game. So this is one and of he can, his traits. he can re-roll the, that dice. The, the and he's dice. got to. Sure. He has. So the favour of the gods him. is right. He has. So he's, that saved him. Now, unfortunately, whew, when you re-roll... Yeah. That you do spend the mighty and you I do lose reputation because yeah. the boys in the village have gone, oh, that Osric, he's staggered, he's got blood all over him, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the key thing is, he survived being hit by that arrow. What happened if I died? Uh, you just lose the reputation Which and he's gone. Two. Well, he his re reputation, two reputation two. So that's, uh, yeah. Not yeah. only do I get to keep my leader, I only lose one reputation point. Exactly. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, but, so he's but however, the two points there is not very nice at all. No. So, so that's two casualties. Now, yeah. the way we mark casualties was entirely down to you as a, as a game player. I actually uh, have built in a little, uh, um, I built in a, a little dice box on my unit bases, and I, I use yeah. that with a dice. James uses some very attractive shield markers, so he's rep taken two figures off and put two shields on, which shows <coughs> the the level of loss that's there. Yeah. At what point is that unit? Disappear. This unit has got four stamina points. That's right. the maximum you can have in the game. Yeah. So it will take a third point. When yeah. it takes the fourth one, it is removed. It's gone. It flees, it breaks, whoever. Yeah. So the number of figures, we're not doing figure removal. It's a unit has a strength value, and that's uh, yeah, the it's, point it's, at which it's it goes. Yeah. It's the stamina value yeah. that yeah. it has, and you can record that any way that you like. Yeah. Like I said, dice frames and so forth mm. are really, really common yeah, in the game. Yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. how you do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like my If you have Sabo bases yeah. where you've got particular circles hmm. visible, it's very easy to remove Take them one figure and just count it Put up. Yeah. But I've got white shields for mine. Yeah. It, you know, you can do exactly what you like. And the key thing is, as long as very quickly, when you look at the table, hmm. you can see it's totally who's visible. got what damage. So, um, they now get a shot marker. That's an amazing round of shooting for them and against yeah. the odds, to be honest with you. But they have... The Saxons rushing up to them has presented the British archers with a really good target. Yes, fabulous um, opportunity, and maximum impact, maximum firepower. They rolled really well. I rolled badly. Yeah. So uh, the gods, well, the gods shone on me in the end, but they shone yeah. on you as well. In Absolutely. That also, what you've got on is the youths have yeah. got the the worst armour in the Saxon force, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're rushing forward yeah. to gain glory. Those four hits, had it been one of these units, it would have just been one loss. Correct, yeah. yes, because these hits are armor three and armour four. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so what's next? What's next? That was the end of my movement. Yeah. Once again, there is no defender combat. Yeah. So, we're going to roll to the shooting phase at the end of the turn, mm. phase six, but, but that everybody has shot. As shot we markers see all the units. By the shot markers yeah. that are on there. And there are going to be shot markers available as part of the token set that go with the rules. So yeah. let's take them off. And uh, end of the turn, obviously we we've lost you've lost some reputation there I've for having one. to re-roll that one. wound, yeah. but reputation is still solid at the moment. Right. But you can see the clash is lining up. So it is now turn three of the game. So turn one again. Uh, phase one, sorry, restock those mighty deeds. Replan the mighty deeds. Fabulous. And gosh, don't I need them. Right. Uh, and uh, Osric still gets his one, even though he was wounded and then got better. Yeah, effectively, yeah. he's not wounded. He's not he wounded, didn't, yeah. If you lose a point yeah. of stamina as a hero, yeah. uh, all heroes have got two stamina points, yeah. apart from poor old Osric and the other ones who've only got one. Right. Um, so, so even if my leader has got three... Uh, mighty Deeds, he's still only got two... two. He, he'd be reduced to a yeah. level two Mighty yeah. Deed uh, leader yeah. if he had been wounded. Right. But, but then after that, he will, he'll go. He like will. Two yeah. is the limit. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. great. Right, mm -hmm. it's probably time mm -hmm. for some charges. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but uh, mm -hmm. turn, start mm -hmm. to turn three. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, right. Where do you want to start? I'm going to start over here with these youngsters. The youths. Yeah. Now, um, what we've got going on here, the youths have got a special rule called yeah. impetuous. They are. Um, also given to orcs and uh, yeah. people of that kind of ilk. Um, yeah. So what goes on here is they have got an enemy in their killing zone, they meaning yeah. they have to attempt to charge. I know you're going to anyway. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. bad news is because they are damaged, mm. you've got to pass a command test to right. do it. Okay. So command yeah, test, three up. Command test, one. You can change the dice if you want, Rich. I mean... No. 
Uh, uh, Porto is especially he's going to use Sweden, the mighty deeds. Four. Good. Right. Osric's done it. So, yeah. good old mighty deeds gone. These yeah. charge. Now, what's going to happen mm. here? Before you charge in, we have got mm. an evade move. Yeah. Um, evade is one of the traits in yeah. the game whereby light troops have a chance to run away yeah. to react if they get charged. Yeah. So, as you won't be surprised to hear though, they need to pass a command test yeah. to make the evade. And it's the same as it always is, three up on a d6. Okay. We have six, yeah. they're fine. So what's going to happen is, in their evade move, mm -hmm. they move a spear throw directly backwards. Yeah. That would put them slightly into this unit, but they just drop out the back, back as skirmishers right. are allowed to do. No other troop types can do that. No. And then, yeah. these roar forwards, yeah. Now, sadly, one spear throw mm. doesn't quite put them in contact no, with the enemy. No. So you're going to need a second move to get them yeah, in. Yeah, so I need but to roll higher and I've done all. it. Okay, bang. Now. So we just move them straight into the line yeah. and we'll sort out who's fighting who in okay. a moment. Now, so before you... we do anything else, Rich, yeah. we have mm. Osric has led a charge. He yeah. survived being hit in the head by a slingshot. Yeah. He's led a charge and better than that, he's led the first charge of the game. Right. So this is where we start to gain reputation. Uh, a hero leading a successful charge gains a point of reputation. Right. And if it's the very first charge of the game, you get two. So mm. this is where, again, we're simulating, there you go, satisfying click there. This is where we are, why we are simulating that. Look at that, people after the Battle of He Survives are gonna say, that's Osric, he came back covered in blood, but he led the first charge, he led the youths of the village yeah, up the hill. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's watch him die now. Well, uh, right, so, so can I continue moving? Because I want to get some yeah, support. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you so definitely. they'll move up. They need to move one. You don't need to dice. No, okay. So they're in support. Yeah. That's it. Right. Yeah. Units within half a spear throw yeah. um, of a friendly unit and not engaged yeah. are considered to be supporting the okay, combat. And that's, so that's exactly what you because need. Because they were a tiny bit short, but because they're close enough. It's fine. They're within support. half a spear yeah. throw of the unit will be fighting. Yeah. They're good. Brilliant. Okay. I'm going to do the similar thing over here. Yeah. Now, so, this is the Comitatus unit, they're yeah, drilled, yeah. so they can go straight in yeah. and charge and in. And they will go straight in and charge in. These little red arrow markers yeah. um, are also part of the token set, yeah. so these are going to be put down to show mm. when people are charging. Now, okay. just hold on a second again, Rich, because mm. Enfrith leading this yeah. flank, he led the charge, so he's going to get more reputation. more reputation. Oh, I'm so famous. He only gets one because it wasn't the first charge thing. No, he was no, beaten no, to no, it no. by young Osric. By cheeky, but... cheeky chappy Osric. Right, you want a second right. move here to yeah, charge, I yeah? I do. And I'm rolling the two. Big two. Well, so Fortunately, Emperor has got two mighty deeds, so spend he's one, re-roll. And they're in. And in they go, bang. Now, there's no reputation awarded for that. No. Because there isn't a hero Attached leading to a unit yeah. into the charge. Okay. So... You know, this is yeah. where the game encourages risk taking with heroes. Yeah. Now, interestingly, even if this guys these guys move twice, they're not going to get there. No, because of the mm. um, <clears throat> the slinger blockage you experienced on turn one, they're not going to be able to get there. So slinger blockage. Slinger blockage. Yeah, yeah, it's great. The, <laughs> the right. question is, Rich, yeah. whether you want to. Mm. Get the skirmishers out of the way no, now. I you don't. don't. I, I don't need to roll for them because they're only no. going one forward, and they're gonna they're gonna chuck their rocks. I will bet you are. You you need your best rocks. I, I point my range into Artus and right. his chums. Don't yeah. be fooled by the rocks yeah. I've got. Um, and these guys are just moving. That's everyone moves one. Everyone's damaged. Everyone's damaged that's automatic. Awesome, so we don't have to test that, yeah. uh, including them, including him, um, because they just, just they were themselves. held up by that, that those slingers going yeah uh, a bit wobbly in the first turn. Indeed. But we're still it's the horns of the buffalo. Indeed, right. It's not quite combat time yet though, because oh, no. we're going to get shooting for your yeah, yeah. troops now. What about my shooting? Yeah, yeah this, that's what's going on oh, for you troops, now. Yeah, 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 for yeah. your light troops. Now, yeah. the bad news here is, unfortunately, these slingers do not have a target. I haven't moved them yet. Okay. Mm. So what I thought I might do Ooh. is take a free move there. Sneaky. Yeah. And yeah. then I'll dice for another move, which I get. They are lurking around the flanks. Oops. Sorry. And they will go round the flank to there. Yeah. Okay. Now, does that mean they can trap? It does mean they can have a shot at the supporting yeah, unit. Yeah yeah. 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 This is mm. this is a useful use for slingers. Is actually mm. harassing. Harassing all the edges. Yeah. Now, what's likely to happen is if you score a hit, these have taken command test, which might force them to retreat yeah. or which burn up your or burn, burn up your yeah. deeds. So I'm, I want to hit there. Oh, can I do that now? You can do that. Oh, right I failed. Now. <laughs> 
but they still haven't got any sling no. shots. They, they are, they're dire, aren't they? They're yeah. pretty dire, yeah, yeah. But I want to throw my rocks in the middle now, yeah, there yeah. I get six. You do, because... Yeah. No, yeah. you've got you've got no choice of targets no. here. Altos's companion unit yeah. is in your killing zone, yeah. but that's fine. Yeah. You're going to throw a full six dice yeah. hitting on fives. I know. Right, I've got. Oh, look! Well, I've got loads better. of balls. If you play Warhammer, it looks good. It looks good. If you don't, it's, right? <laughs> two is fine. I'm happy two, with two. Two hits. So two things are going to happen here. First, Altos is going to have to roll the Raven dice of death twice. Not two of the it's not two. Oh no. Because yeah. for one to three hits, it's one dice. Ah, I see. So four yeah, to six right. is two dice. Okay, so because what is their armour value? Their armour value is four. So I would need to get four clean hits in order to, to make cause a stamina point of damage on the unit. Yeah. And so it's just, it counts as only one one hit, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great. But okay. you're forcing two things, though. You're yeah. forcing Altos to take a risk to heroes test, yeah. and you're going to force them to take a command test or retreat. Yeah. Because That's what hit. I'm thinking. Yep. Yeah. So, right, Artos. Mm. It's a two. So he laughs he and, does. and lives on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the second one then is: yeah. Does this unit retreat from yeah. the shooting? We don't want this to happen again. No. We've got plenty of mighty D's. We're probably yeah, going to be okay here. Be okay. But, but yeah, if you just roll four hits like I did on that unit yeah. down there, it's a five. So they don't they retreat either. So no. sadly, the shooting is not being effective. But it's worth a crack. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Right, so that's your shooting done, which means mm. we're on to attacker, this is phase three, mm. is the attacker melee phase. So this is where we get to do the combat. So now in melee, both sides fight, yeah. but two things happen for you. Because it's your phase, you yeah. can choose the order in which we resolve the combat, okay. and you can also issue mm. a challenge to single combat with a hero, if you wish to do that. Yes. Right, so to do that, you've probably guessed, You've got to have mm. units in combat that have yeah. both got a hero in. Yeah. And as we can see here, Anfrith is yeah. lined up against Arthur's warlord, Bedwyr, yeah. on the hill. Are you going to do it? Yeah. yeah it's your yeah, challenge. Yeah. Bedwyr actually yeah. could pass this up. Yeah. He could say, I don't yeah. fancy fighting you today. I would if I you, Bedwyr. You, you dog, you know, and so forth. But if he does that, he's going to lose a point of reputation. Yeah. So mm. we're going to fight. Right. So this is the cinematic moment of Midgard. Yeah. This is the single combat. Right. So they're going to go out and meet, kind of, and this is the part of the game where we slow it down and go, right, the battle mm -hmm. lines part for a second, Enfrith calls out Bedware, and they're going to have at each other. Cinematic moment. Yeah, it's single combat time. So mm -hmm. let's get this lined up. Mm -hmm. um, in single combat, it's a little different to regular combat, and that it's just two heroes hacking away at each other. Yeah. And when a single combat takes place, we fright, fight three cinematic rounds of battle right. before we carry on with the melee combat phase. Right. So, what's going to happen first though, is you are going to gain a point of reputation. Oh. Because Anfrith is a level 2 minor hero, yeah. he's taken on Bedwear, oh. a level 3 major hero. Oh, I hadn't actually taken that into account, but hooray! No, <laughs> you do immediately, <laughs> yeah. so though your life may be short, yeah. you immediately get a point of reputation. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Yes. Let's clock up the dice. There's yeah. going to be three rounds of combat, assuming yeah. it doesn't end sooner. So, Anfrith is a level two hero, so you yeah. put out two dice for that. Yeah. He also has the trait called Battle Smiter. That gives him an extra dice yeah. for every round of single combat. Right. Yep. Yeah. Now, right. Bedwyr is a level three hero, so yeah. he also puts out three dice. Yeah. He doesn't have Battle Smiter. No. Okay. Um, now, you need to make a decision here. You issue the challenge, yeah. so you're going to put your Mighty Deeds in first. Yeah. Do you want to put that Mighty Deed into the combat or save it for a second round? I'm going to put it straight into the combat. There you go. So what happens is we exchange that for an extra dice. Yeah. So that's four dice this round only. Well, um, I'm not sure I can turn that down, frankly. I'm going to put two of my Mighty Deeds in there uh... because I want five dice. I want to see if we can win this. Um, one thing I will point out is in single combat you don't get to roll risk to heroes dice no. because the heroes are actually directly attacking each other yeah. so there isn't a chance to save yourself with mighty deeds so Fine. what you've done yeah. is probably the right thing. And right. heroic. And heroic. And heroic. Right, well, we're going to roll all our dice, round of single combat. What so do we need? We need fives and sixes but on the first round you may re-roll any rolls of one. Okay, well I haven't got any. I haven't got any either. So, yeah, the, the, two, the mighty deeds paid one. off. It's two to one there. Yeah. That wounds and frith. Oh. So, 
You don't lose reputation here, I yeah. gain it. I've won around a single combat, yeah. I've stuck one on him off the yeah. top of my horse as he's ridden up and challenged me. That gains Bedouin a reputation. Mm. Now it's round two of the single combat. We're going to play three rounds. Yeah. Bedouin mm. is still a level three hero, he's not wounded, yeah. so he gets three dice. Enfrith, unfortunately, he's only gets one, one dice, mm. but battle smiters every round. Battle smiters every round, which is, thank God. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. Yeah, right. completely. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah. Whichever god right. I'm thanking <laughs> Odin or Wotan. Right, right, right. right, I've got three dice and you've yeah. got two. Look at right. the same, fives and sixes. I've got one. Uh, oh, I've got one as well. Now, that's interesting because mm. a hit each means yeah. no damage is done. Yeah. They're taking chunks out of each other's shields, yeah. sparks are flying, and what happens yeah. in this case is both mm. sides gain a point of reputation. Sure. Because all the troops are still going, wow, look at, them, look at them go. What, yeah. what a geezer. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I'm sure that's exactly what they said. <laughs> yeah. you, you could uh, do a game call, that couldn't no, you? You could, what a geezer. What a geezer, that, a geezer. that would be yeah. far better than mid hard <laughs> <mid-hard laughs> battles. Right, so, so again, you've got three dice, right. you, but you can, you've got an extra. I have got a mighty deed. You've got to do it, haven't you? You've I've got, got to, go to throw it, it in. Yeah. The problem we've got here is if Bedweir survives this, yeah. Bedweir's in command of this flank, yeah. and he might need it there, but yeah. if he's dead, yeah. he's not going to be spending it anyway. No. So I'm doing it. Yeah. So I'm spending that mighty deed. So you get four dice. I get four I'm level one. Two. I've got my mighty chopper. So I Battle smiter. Yeah. Ouch! And I get two oh. fives, you get nothing. Whoa. Oh, well. <laughs> Triple one and a four. I think I've got your dice here, Rich. <laughs> um, yeah, so, Anfrith comes back big time. Yeah. So, what's happened here is, you've scored more hits than me. Yeah. Two plays, zero. Yes. But you haven't beaten my armour value, which is four. Oh, if yeah. you beat someone's armour value, yeah. you take their head off in one blow, right, basically. Okay. We've had it, only had it happen a couple yeah. of times, and it's grim when it does. Yeah, but. Yeah. Anyway, that's a well-deserved win for Ooh. Anfrith there. Ooh. So, you gain a point of reputation yeah. for having done that, and then they separate. Yeah, because yeah. having played three rounds, they're exhausted. They must be exhausted. And basically, yeah. everyone else is getting stuck in. So, yeah. I'm just going to put a wounds marker on those two heroes, yeah. just so we remember that they are wounded. Ooh. And um, that will now, in future turns, af- uh, affect the number of mighty deeds that they have. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Yeah. yeah. And it, yeah, but it means we're both wounded. So one more yeah. stamina point of damage, and we're dead. Right. Let's crack on anyway mm-hmm. with the main combat here. Yeah, now, yeah. what will happen here is the units will fight each other. Yeah. Bedwear and Amfrith, having fought the single combat, they've kind of staggered, exhausted to the back ranks to get a drink of wine yeah. or whatever. Yeah but they're still in the combat. They're not going to add their dice into the combat as they would have done in a normal unit combat, but they are going to be at risk risk, if stuff happens to them. Okay, brilliant. Okay, right, let's roll them. So, you should have 12 dice over there. Ooh, yeah. Now, I'm going to give you two extra dice because this um, Comitatus unit has got spears as tribute, yeah. meaning you get two extra dice until they take stamina damage. Yeah. So while they're fresh, They'll get the two extra. Correct. Ones. And you've got one more bonus here as well. Hmm. You've got one of these red charging yeah. winning markers. Yeah. That means you're hitting on fives, hmm. but you can re-roll any ones. Right. In this first round of combat. My unit yeah. um, is just a regular pedotate unit, so we're just rolling 12 dice. What about the hill? The hill is going to oh. come in in a yeah. moment right. well, um, to help me hang on. Right. The hill doesn't actually add. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Let's, let's roll. I'm, I'm running ahead, aren't I? Right, so I'm looking for fives and sixes. So put out all your hits at the back of the units. It's fives and sixes. It is. Okay. Best and to uh, line them all up because then we can and see. No ones. No ones, okay. Slightly. That's five hits though. That's yeah. quite respectable. That is a respectable. So coming back over here. Mm. Mm, no. Triple six and then a lot yeah. of disappointment. And a yeah. lot of nothing. So yeah, yeah, well. So actually, had that been my roll, yeah. I could have uh, filled my boots there. Sadly, yeah. we haven't. We're no. not charging. So. Okay. So, we've got three hits to your five. We totally recommend when you're playing is you rack up the units on the hits on the table as you'll see why in a second. Yeah. Now, next step um, is going to be support. Yeah. So this is one of the, alongside Mighty Deeds and Heroes, this is probably one of the biggest rules in Midgard okay. in that um, units that are supported are more likely to be able to shrug off damage in combat. Yeah. They're harder to shift. Yeah. Think about guys at the top of the hill. 
So, um, supporting units mm. are a unit within half a spear throw yeah. um, and unengaged. Now, I've got a supporting unit here. Yeah. They could support either one of these units. Yeah. Um, I think we'll save them for this combat over here, but mm. they've also got Artos's Comitatus unit or right. even half a spear throw. Yeah. They're not engaged this turn. Sure. So they can put in what we call two support dice. Yeah. Secondly, my traps are on a hill. Yeah. And that also gives them two support dice. Okay. And what's going to happen when I roll these dice, if I get any fives or sixes, it removes hits no, I got from you. your pool of hits. Now, unfortunately, mm. yeah, you're just out there. Yeah. The delay in the centre yeah. has left this flank Without a little bit support. unsupported. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to get support dice and you're not. No. So I want at least yeah. two fives and sixes. So this is where it's important to keep a line of battle, keep support. Completely. Which is, uh, uh, it means units aren't just bashing other units in, in their vacuum. This is, means you've got to have a coherent force in order to perform well. No, it's a very interesting mechanic because mm. it means that mm. without having lots of specialised mm. rules yeah. for shield wall and things like that, yeah. just having a deeper force yeah. and having a good position like being on a hill yeah. really gives you a better chance of winning. Right, right let's see what happens. So, yeah, I've got indeed. four dice. So ah, just, just one. the one, just the so one. I've got one, five, or six. That reduces your hits to four. Yeah. Yeah, probably I should have put that unit in as well, but I need mm. to decide before I roll any dice. Yeah. So there we go. Mm. Okay, you inflict four to my three. Mm. So step number one again is risk to heroes. Yeah. Now their armor value is four, so that counts as just, is it four or three? Or? Can we just, let's mm. just do the risk to heroes bit first. So this is yeah. just the chance mm. of Anfrith and Bedwyr getting yeah. hit by a stray yeah. javelin. Yeah. You've inflicted four hits, which right. means I'm rolling two raven dice. Right. Why two? Because one to three hits yeah. is one, yeah. four to six hits is two, right. and that's, so on. That, and that's based on their armour value? No. 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 Okay, it's a, fine. It's, a, it's just about risk yeah. to heroes. Right, okay. Fine. It's on a little table on the ref. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Well, you remember it very quickly. So, oh, Bedwyr has got yeah. two chances to be wounded here. Okay. Oof, two and a two. That nearly went Pete Tong. Yeah. Um, so, Bedwyr has survived that. And Frith, yeah. his unit's taking three hits, so you just need to roll one Raven dice. dice. but no. Yeah, Ooh, you see, and here, having mm. burned all our mighty deeds, yeah. being a last stone, we're yeah, very yeah. vulnerable. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the heroes have survived mm. this combat yeah. with only the wounds they inflict on each other. Yeah. Now, let's do the hits. I've inflicted three points of damage yeah. on this unit, yeah. but your armour mm. is four because they're the best armoured troops in the yeah. game, so yeah. that does not cause any further damage. Right. You've inflicted four on me. Yeah. This is an armour three unit, so we take one point of stamina damage. Right. So you're going to put one put shield one, on to one on there. As okay. we say, that could be a dice, it could be a micro dice. Yeah, like whatever, there. but they've yeah. taken a point of damage now. What happens now is they have to retreat. Yeah. You've beaten them by four to three, yeah. so we have to retreat. And this is where it gets messy. Yeah. Um, so they're going to retreat half a spear throw. That's the yeah. standard in the game. Uh, I'm a big subscriber to the theory mm. that more people died in ancient battles, mm. ancient medieval battles, in the in the crush mm. and in a rout and in a retreat than actually fighting man-to-man -man in lines. Yeah. Uh, so what's going to happen here is there's going to be a chance for both of these units to take stammer damage as they get pushed back off the hill by the Saxons. Okay, so here's so what happens. The unit that is behind is actually going to be pushed back as well. It, it is. It so is. that's going to affect this combat. It does. It can't that, now no, but that's removed them from supporting yeah, them. Yeah. So... Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So, so how do we test for damage on those units? It's command well? tests again. Right, command so tests. So it's just back right. to command tests. So literally D6 free up. Yep. We'll test the front unit first. Yep. If they fail this test, they're going to take another stamina point right. of damage. Okay. They've passed they it. They've passed it. And the unit behind them is yep. to test as well. And they've they also pass passed it. Right. Fortunate. But you can mm. see here, actually, yeah. your unit is going to take over the, the salient magic. point there, the standing magic. stone. Mm. Um, mm. When you've won a combat, you can choose, mm. uh, if you pass a command test, whether you want to advance or not, mm. but you'd be a full... No. No, no straightforward. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So they're now in possession of that salient point. Yeah. And if it moves up, you also keep the charging and winning marker, which means right. next turn, you will also mm. be re-rolling ones in your round of okay. combat. Right. So that's a really solid use there of a, mm. a high-quality commentator's yeah. unit 
busting through the enemy lines. Well, that's why I went first, because I thought, if anybody's going to break the line, it's going to be my comitatus. Yeah. So yeah. that's great. So now we're going to fight this one. Right, this one's very, very easy, mm. yeah. because mm. these are standard Saxon Dugoof, who have 12 dice. Yeah. I have standard um, Romano-British Pedites, who have 12 dice. And so there's no benefits. All the benefits are going to be for you being on the hill. Uh, you have got a benefit because you are charging. Yeah. You are going to roll re-roll ones. I'm going to re-roll ones, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got a support benefit, which could help. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got quite a few five and sixes no, there. No, 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 no. So have you. Yeah. You've even got even more. Huh. I'll re-roll that one. It's oh. a hit. And it is a hit. So you've mm. actually got six hits to our five. Ooh. So let's do the supports now. Yeah, this unit I was going to use to support, they've been pushed out of support the range hand, yeah. by your punch through the line. Yeah. So, I have got support, but it's only from holding the hill. Yeah. So I'm going to roll two support dice. I need one of these to get a draw here. Yeah, which is key. Three and a four, no. Nothing. Fail it. Okay, so, um, let's clock up some hits. I've done, mm. there's no risk to heroes because there's no heroes in the unit. So, yeah. Five hits from me yeah. just does one point of damage yeah. because the Saxons are on a three. Three. So if you'd done six hits, you'd have done two points of damage, yeah. but you just, just failed to get there. However, yeah. you've got your big six. Yeah. We're on a three. That's going to put two points of damage. On so that six. unit are not, not, not only had a couple of hits, they're, they're halfway to the half strength. Them. Yeah, they're half strength. The half strength units will yeah. throw half dice unit in their combat. Okay. So they're, they're in trouble. Oh, wow. That's. Big, that's a big event. Isn't the it? only silver lining mm. on this Bloodstains battlefield is that because we've got nobody mm. behind us, yeah. there's not going to be a command test yeah. for being crushed. Yeah. But mm. that's not looking good there at no. all. And the fact that mm. your Comitatus unit have now taken possession of the stone, mm. we're going to need to come back from this big time in a moment. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, now do I get any benefits for my reputation? No, no you don't. Because there's no. no Heroes in No, that. it's not to do with the heroes at this yeah, point. Yeah. It's the reputation mm. benefit to you will occur mm. when these units break. Right. When they get to zero, okay. they'll be reduced, they'll be removed at that point. Right. Okay. So the hero's got the reputation for leading the charge, yeah. reputation for um, winning rounds of single combat and yeah. placing that, uh, okay. but no more at this point. And the bonus for holding the standing mm. stone on the top of the hill will come in the last phase of the turn. Right. Okay, great. So that gives us as the defender mm. a chance to push you off it, which yeah. obviously we're going to do um, in right. short order. So over here. Now, mm. this is an interesting one. <coughs> Are they going to die the youths? Quite possibly. Mm. Um, so what's going on here is we've got one unit fighting two units. We have. So what's going to happen is your youth unit here are going to fight mm. my tribal warriors here. Yeah. This unit mm. is going to be an additional unit in the combat. It's not a supporting unit no. because you are actually fighting, fighting. both units, yeah. but uh, they will fight with half their dice in a So one is the primary unit in combat and the other is a secondary. Yeah, the primary and secondary is one to use unit. that, that yeah, terminology. That's the terminology. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, mm. bad news. This... Mm -hmm. You give units on half strength. Yeah, yeah. So you can probably work out you're six rolling dice. six dice. Osric yeah. is a level one hero, yeah. so he puts in one dice. But I re-roll once because I'm charging. Correct. And you've, at least I have some support for a challenge. Yeah, you've got no mighty deeds no, here. No. The other benefit you've got, I mean, we've got the same view, is you're fighting an armour two unit mm. as your main unit, so a couple of hits yeah. will do damage. However, my dice are going to be somewhat substantial mm. because yeah. I've got 12 dice for my main unit of Pedites, yeah. and, sorry, uh, Tribal mm. Warriors, and this unit is going to fight mm. with half its dice. Yeah. Secondary fighting unit. They can't get everyone into combat, right. but they can still put six dice yeah. in, so it's probably going to sting. But, you know, let's see what we roll. And we're looking for five, five. And, sixes, and again, I re-roll ones if I get any. Uh, and I do, but that's nothing to celebrate because I haven't got any hits. I've got one, one hit. hit. Thanks that's to the clearly, re -roll. That was clearly Osric. That clearly was. Clearly was Osric on top of his rock. Wow, okay. Yeah, we've... Um, what, the floor? I think, yeah, that's, that's not oh. unfair. So yeah. just the... That unit has inflicted seven hits. That's a spawny round of dice rolling. So Just need to put yeah. in the secondary unit as oh, well. Oh, oh, blimey. We that, haven't finished yet, Rich. Oh, my Lord. Um, I nice. make that nine hits. I make that nine hits. Now I have a supporting unit. You so, do. So. so I roll two dice. Correct. For that. Supporting and I warrior need fives unit. Fives and sixes. I've got one. Takes so. one off. Just 
Only the eight. Only the eight. Only the eight. Just flesh wound. <laughs> um, and you did one to us. Yeah, yeah. So we have got a. We've got the hill, which yeah. gives us two support dice. Yeah. The skirmisher unit behind gives mm -hmm. one support dice. So, so it's half the support you'd get from a warrior unit. Yeah, warriors, heavy riders, so the, mm. the, 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 the best quality cavalry and monstrosities all give you two support points. Okay. The light stuff only gives you one. Anyway, so we've got three whole dice. Yeah. So if we get any of these, we're taking no hits from your attack. Okay. No. No. Okay. Right, one hit from you mm -hmm. does nothing, yeah. but eight hits. Yeah. Right. Osric, yeah. he's got some big dice to roll here. Now, mm. because we have got eight hits, he's mm. going to be rolling three, three. raven dice. Right, so he's, he's had his luck. He's got his luck Two, again. four, and a six. Two, four, six. He, whether he's laughing is, is open to I don't think he's laughing, but yeah, yeah. He's hoping he survives this moment. He's still breathing. <laughs> right, so mm. here's how the damage is going to go. Yeah. We're taking no damage from one hit. No. We've got eight hits. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, four of those yeah. on, a, on a two unit yeah. will destroy it. Yeah. Now, Saxon warriors, their reputation is two, yeah. meaning and immediately they lose, lose two, two points yeah. out of the vessel of reputation. Yeah. Um, there's no immediate... Some get Many games have got panic tests and so forth, like Warhammer. Yeah. We don't have that here because that's representing the overall damage. Yeah. So that's how morale is how much as a whole. Yeah. So that's four of the hits accounted for. Now, the very yeah. bad news is you had yeah. support, yeah. but some of the damage is going on to the support. Right. So four points is going on to the support. These mm. poor chaps behind have only got an armour of two as well because yeah. this is the youth. So they're down to half strength. Oh, they're down to half strength. Oh, well, that's nasty. Yeah, that is nasty. That is really nasty. And... Yeah. It's worse. Yeah. Osric. 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 You've got a choice here. Yeah. Osric's unit has been completely destroyed. He survived, which is yeah. obviously heroic, but yeah. all his men are sisters, so they go, hang on, Osric's just got all those boys killed and yeah. they're running away or whatever. So, Osric is going to lose reputation here yeah. unless he chooses to carry on fighting that unit single handedly. How much reputation will he lose? Just one. Well, I, I'm going to lose one because he's not going to stand there and fight then. No. It's my move next as well, which means yeah. Yeah. he's going to have to fight them single-handedly yeah. by himself. That's, that's I'm afraid, I'm yeah. I think this is discretion is the best part yeah. of Alice, so, so they I'm, lose one. I'm going to drop one out of my reputation. So that's not good. I've lost three in that due to that foolish round of combat, those imbecilic yobs. <laughs> right. Now, I'm just going to see if we need to... Oh, what we, we do. Um, let's have a look. Just going to take a command test. So what's happening here is... Mm. Actually, I don't need to take a command test at all because we've destroyed our enemy. Yeah. Um, we're going to hold our position there on the hill because yeah. we're very happy with that. Thank you very okay. much. So had I withdrawn, had you not destroyed me and I'd withdrawn, you'd have to take a test to see what you do. Yeah, yeah. if you'd yeah. retreated yeah. Yeah. Uh, and right. survived that win... Yeah. You might have pulled yeah, us off, off the hill. hill. The impetuous yeah. units, the yeah. tribal warriors, yeah. have to pursue. Right. So this is where you can do, you know, Harold and the, the Saxons on the hill at Hastings, yeah. Yeah. whereby actually you can send troops towards and then pull people off the hill. Yeah. Right, and that is the end of that pretty bloody round of combat, that which was means bloody, wasn't it? Um, we're on to uh, phase four, which is now my movement. So yeah. as defender. I always get to move second. Yeah. Um, but it does give, you know, it means I'm taking the brunt of the charges, but it does give me some options in terms of counterattacks. Well, now you've got, yeah, you're, you've survived the first blow in one shape or form, and now you, you can respond. Yeah, but this is where this gets amusing, because mm. this is an impetuous unit. Okay. So... They are going to charge down the hill and because take they have to, Osric. because they've got no option. Because I am in their yeah. frontal. You are in the killing zone. Killing zone. So yeah. that damage unit of sex and use in the killing yeah. zone, and the glory is there for the taking. Yeah. So they're going. Why would they not? Why would they not? <laughs> um, sad. If we had any more heroes to spare, we could gain reputation for doing that. But yeah. mm. Artos's force is made up of high quality heroes yeah. so there aren't very many no right in they go straight down in case there's no yep. response or anything to that one mm -hmm. so they're going to charge straight in there mm -hmm. with their charge marker but no repetition gained we're then going to move the archers mm -hmm. forward onto the salient point on the hill right okay does artos hold on here He's a sensible kind of cove, Artos. He's not going to charge here. These troops are not impetuous. They don't need to no, charge. No, sure. I think we're going to have to trust these chaps holding on over here. 
we could redeploy stuff, but the problem is because units, yeah. warrior units that don't move straight forward only move half a spear throw. It's going to take you forever. It takes day to get them a over very here. long time to redeploy. Yeah. I was actually right now that unit supporting the units in combat. Yeah. Let's stick it to them right. and see if we can fight them off. Uh, we we need Kai and his cavalry to turn up, but that won't happen until next turn. Sure. So, right, let's go on with fights then. Now, I need to decide first if mm. I want to um, issue any challenges to single combat. My only option here is between Bedwyr mm. and Amfrith, and quite frankly, no, Bedwyr. <laughs> no. Yeah, Bedwyr's wounded discretion and valor. We've both done that. Better and, uh, parts thereof. They got, got the t-shirt. Yeah, they, they have. They've <laughs> they've definitely done their duty there in terms yeah. of being heroic. And this is one of the things that Midgard throws up all the mm. time. Is you know, as the people who went through this must mm. have experienced, do you get taken away? Do you get carried away on that rush of heroism, mm. or do you go, hang on? Yeah. There's there's a, my men actually need me to come back there's to the light. A, there's a time to do the heroic and there's yeah. a time to do the no right. less important, you know, rallying of yeah. units and the mundane bits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Interestingly, right. Bedwear has got a trait called Today We Fight to Win. Yeah. Um, but he can't use it because he's burned all his mighty deeds in the single combat. Got you. So your challenge has actually fulfilled another thing okay. there. It's prevented what he can do with his troops this round. Right. Anyway, okay. so let's fight them off. We've got no light troops shooting, so let's just get stuck into the combats. Okay, I'm going to go for this impetuous charge off the hill yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, my guys get 12 dice. Mine uh, get 6. And we get an extra one because we're at full strength yeah. for charging or winning markers. This is a yeah. special for impetuous troops. Yours get 6 plus 1 for Osric is 7. Yeah, got that. Right. right. Fives and 6s. Fives and 6s. Six six roll 1s. Right. Oh, they're pulling out the bag now. Well, I've rolled 4 of them, remarkably. That's all right. Oh, 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 oh. I've got three at the moment, four, four but four. no ones, it's all twos, no. threes and fours. Four, four, yeah? Yeah, now. I've got a load of support. Oh, you're all right, yeah, okay, you've got, so, comment, uh, yeah. in, it's actually down the hill, oh, you get two support dice. Yeah. We really, you know, we both want to win this yeah, roll. Yeah. So, go for yours first. Okay, I've not, not none, it. none. Okay, now, we, however, mm. we've got two for the hill, because yeah. we're not quite off it yet. We've yeah. got one for the archer unit behind and, and two for the Yeah, so we've yeah. actually got five, five points of support. Yeah. Obviously this would be embarrassing if this doesn't work because <laughs> I was thinking that. But it it, it no, did. We work. got one. It we got work. one. And that's done One's it. enough. One's one is enough. enough. Yeah. So with our better supported position yeah. there, that has beaten you. That's yeah. taken you down to three hits yeah. from my four hits. So mm. puts a whole load of things in place there. Yeah. Um yeah, so, right, Osric, with four hits taken on the unit, he needs to roll two Risto two Heroes dice. Yeah, got it. No, he's still he's going, but five and I think six. his luck may be about to run out, because with four hits, mm. these have only got armour two. Yeah. Two stone points there. So they They're go. gone. They go. They and broken. now he's on his own. <laughs> that is another two yeah. out of the pot. Right. Right, so, Osric, you've got a choice here. Is it lose a reputation and jump out to the unit or stand and fight? Now, just a hmm. tiny piece of advice here yeah. is that next turn, um, you uh, because this is defender's phase, you are the attacker, so you're going to be moving next. Yeah. So you do have an opportunity yeah. to move that unit sideways and yeah. then get another one in and yeah. then they can charge and help him yeah it is going to change the direction of your attack a bit but it is going to avoid you losing your reputation at this stage of the game i'm going to stand and fire cool yeah definitely so, yeah I, i'm insane but i i don't really like no. oh harsh. <laughs> no i don't want to be diverted from my main thrust no absolutely yeah that's absolutely fine uh, yeah and then he's been heroic um, yeah, and th there's a chance to earn reputation here because if he wins a round of combat against them, then he gains reputation for doing so anyway. Okay. Right, that one is done. Okay, so let's do the other two combats over here. So we now need to move the combat down this end of the yeah, line. So this one's going to sting, yeah. but this is Bedwyr versus Amphrif. I've turned down the chance for a single combat here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fortunately, we've got Artos nearby with mighty deeds to spare mm. if we need those to help. 
rally troops. Yeah, and I've got the same thing with Bull Hay and Leal. Yeah, who's Hales within range. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I get twelve dice. Well, where are you? Where are you choosing? We're going to go with Bedwear and yeah. Enfrith there. So you're right. going to get twelve dice plus spears. two for Spears as tribute. Yeah. That's right. And one for Enfrith. Mm. Now the single combat is over. You need an additional dice for him yeah. because he's fighting. Yeah. So he's only level one. His battle smiter ability doesn't count in their regular combat. Right. I'm. I've only taken one point of damage, so mm. I'm still on full strength at the moment. Right. And Bedwear is level three, so let's chuck those in and see. But he's what he wounded, gets. so is he going to level two? Now? Uh, he is. Sorry, excuse me. Two yeah. dice. Thank you. Can I reroll one? You can reroll ones because you've got the winning marker. I can tell you Bedwear's pulled it out of the bag here. Well, I've got seven. I have got... seven as well. <laughs> oh, my oh. Lord. Mm. Right, level pegging against the oh, odds. You've got support. I have. And mm. yeah, actually, there, you have got no support no. because of yeah. Ail's early yeah. command disaster. Whereas I've got a unit here, mm. a unit there, and the hill. Yeah. So I've got a couple of choices to make. This unit's definitely going to support theirs. So that's mm. two support dice. Hill is two support dice. Do I put this unit in there or there? I think they've got to go in here because last turn they got pushed back, which was deeply embarrassing, and they couldn't support anybody. Yeah. So, but that gives us a very chunky six points it of does. support for that position. Mm. Right. Let's do and it. That's going to tip the tip the scales. Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, the law of average is going to yeah, scale, Rich. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we roll. Probability. Just two. But yeah. two is exactly what you'd expect. Two. Seven, five, yeah. Yeah, seven, five. So that puts it mm. to a definite win to us. So that, mm. that has pulled it out there. And the facts, mm. yeah, we didn't get the charge in. Right. So uh, let's do risk to heroes. However, five hits from you is still mm. two risk to heroes for Bedwear. Mm. Right. And any Raven here is going to kill me kill because yeah. he's got no. Mighty yeah. D's left. No. Four and a five. You've got seven hits there. That's going to be three dice, I'm afraid, Rich. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh he's yeah. gone. There's the raven. Okay. Mm. Amphrith dies. Now, yeah. there's a, is there a silver lining here? They're going to sing about Amphrith for some years to come, but mm. the silver lining here is Amphrith has died in combat, mm. meaning that you get a hero death roll. Okay. So, get yourself a separate D6 yeah. and roll high. Four. Four. That's great. That is a that is a glorious death. Mm. He's gone down fighting, which means mm. he's still going to die, but he loses one less point of reputation than he had right. in the first place. So Anfrith, let's have a little look. Anfrith was a reputation two hero. It so means you only lose one. Lose so, one. you know, is it better than a kick in the teeth? <laughs> Not very much, <laughs> no. <laughs> he died gloriously, right. though. But the this marker shifts to you. It will. And let's do... But Let's do the damage. We now have the damage so, to do. I've done five on you. Yeah. It's an armour four well, unit, though. You've done seven on me. So it's only one point. Sorry, we did seven. Yeah. But it's an armour four unit. Yeah, yeah. It's still only one point. So, so that, these, mm. these boys are tough. Yeah. Um, you've done five on us, though, mm -hmm. which are armour three. Yeah. It's only one point mm. as well. But so that actually, puts you to half strength. It does. It does. And that's key. Because, it is. Uh, I'll be half dice next yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However... We win the combat. You do. We've won by seven to five, which yeah. means you're pushed back. Yeah. So, first you have to retreat half a spear throw yeah. down the hill. Mm -hmm. um, and we need to decide whether we want to follow up. The problem mm -hmm. is we need to get a unit on that. the standing stone. So we're going to go, we're going we're mm -hmm. to follow up because then we keep our charging winning marker. There's a whole load of reasons yeah. why that's the right thing to do, even though it's going to be not particularly... So, right, now do I have to roll for a discipline? Technique? No, there is no command test no. here because mm. you're not being pushed into friends. There's right. no crash. Okay. You've right. taken the damage in the combat, yeah. but you've got... So, one advantage mm. there of not having support. Yeah. That you know. The last thing I'm going to say is we can, when we advance after mm. in a pursuit move, our support unit can also move up. Yeah. So I'm going to move this unit mm -hmm. up to take up a supporting position there. Right. Just puts them in a slightly, slightly stronger position. Though. I think so. Yeah. Although mm. we may be yeah. going in here. Right. Over on this side, the final combat. Mm. Your Saxon unit here is not quite at full strength, but you still get your full twelve dice. Yeah. 
So you've got 12 dice there, yeah. uh, and you can re-roll your ones yeah. because you've got the choice of really yeah, yeah. I'm on half dice, so I'm literally on six. six. So, right, this is my so, chance to do some damage, and I've done it. Oof. A lot of, lot of sixes. Yeah, okay. I've and fives, and a lot of, a couple of ones. Really? So let's see if I can make them work. No. no. <laughs> but still, five against two. Ouch. That's going to smart. And nobody's got any support. We do. We still oh, you're on the hill. hill. We have got the hill. So you've got two hills, hills. you know, hills. But hills. it's not going to swing it. But we no. really do mm. with, well, we need two of these really to mm. survive. You've got done one. one. So, four. There's no heroes involved, so no mm. risk to heroes. Two points mm. from me does mm. nothing to you because you're armor free. Yeah. Um, three from you does one to me, mm -hmm. meaning we're now on to our last stamina points. Right, so they're really, they're not only just on half strength, they've only yeah, got one point of stamina left. It's about to get worse. Right. So you asked about command tests. Mm. Here we've got one coming up. Mm. This is a command test or break because mm. my unit is retreating and it's on its final stamina point. Right. So, I need to pass the command test now, or that unit will break and be removed from the table. Yeah. And it's a two. We failed. However, Artos. Uh, is Artos. Artos is in is this in unit. unit. Yeah. So and you that, measure from the unit he's with, not from the individual right. man. That's yeah. right. Big advantage of joining a unit yeah. is that your hero is then being seen as being yeah. in the middle of the unit. Yeah. And yeah, by virtue of his banner, right. his cloak, whatever... Um, his magic hat. His magic hat. Mm. He can re-roll that. Right. And we're going to because so without that, that unit is That's toast. a mighty deed. It's a mighty deed spent, re-roll the command So tests. again, it shows you the advantage of uh, the internal lines of communication, keeping your army close together. Yeah, I deliberately that put Artos wall. in the centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This scenario, you know, you could put Artos mm. as the relief coming on with the cavalry, yeah. which would be very cinematic, but actually mm. he needs to be in the centre. I should also mention at this point, you can actually, if you want to, mm. you can field an army without an army commander. So yeah. if you want a real bickering bunch of barons, you know, Wars of the Roses kind <laughs> yeah, of stuff, yeah, yeah. where nobody really respects anybody else, you can do that. Sounds like Nick and Sid. I'm yeah, saying right. nothing, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> but that would have cost them big time there. Right. Okay, right. So this re-roll to save the unit. No. It's a one. Well, fortuitously, we're yeah. near the end of the phase, we so are. I'm going to spend another one. Another one. And this is where you've got this little advantage from being the defender. The attacker moves first, yep. fights first, shoots first. But actually, mm. the defender can plan. It's a bit more coherent. Yeah. yeah. And it's that's four. Done it. So that's just save them. On. So they're just pushed back. Yeah. But they're not particularly happy. Right. Um, okay. And mm. that then brings us to the shooting phase yeah. at the end of the turn. I've got one unit that could shoot, but it has no targets, mm. so we're not going to shoot, and then we'll wrap it up with reputation. Now, phase seven is the reputation, the victory yeah. phase. Yeah. At this point, we check the goblets. Before we do that, though, yeah. in this scenario, you gain a point of reputation for every mm. one of the standing stones, the salient points that and you hold. And you got all three. And we got it back. Yeah. That was really, really important. Yeah. So we get... Three points, mm. two, three. I thought I had you at home. I thought you had us as well, um, yeah. but that we'll was see. a fortunate we'll run of events. Mm. So, that's in phase. Nobody has an empty goblet yet, no. which means we clear the shot markers from the yeah. table yeah. and are about to run turn four. And that's the second or third turn finished and hopefully you got a lot from that in terms of looking at the different mechanisms. We certainly saw some uh, heroic intervention there and uh, lots of combat going on as the game really uh, gets down to the heart of the action. That's the end of this video. We hope you like what you've seen. Please do uh, leave your comments and any questions that you may have and we look forward to seeing you very soon in another video for Midgard Heroic Battles.